Hey everyone, this is Elder Pinto, and I'm going to give you a guided tour of CryEngine 3 and its editor, Sandbox. Throughout this training series, I'll be showing you how to create a complete environment scene from start to finish, recording and describing in detail all the necessary steps to bring an environment like this we're seeing here, or any other, to life. So um, we're gonna start off with um, we, you know, with the bare basics like the CryEngine 3 build and folder structure. We're also gonna be looking at how to customize the UI to uh, to your own taste, and uh, you know, establishing a good foundation to get started on this scene we're seeing here. After that, we're gonna get started with creating a brand new level with uh, both exterior areas and interiors, everything from scratch. We're going to start with the terrain and basic layout and block out. Then we're going to be looking at how to dress your scene with vegetation and props. And, um, you know, how to use some of the editor specific entities like, uh, like the fog volume, water volumes, voids, decals and roads, you know, the rope entity, clouds, etc., etc. We will also cover lighting and uh, environment settings. We're going to be looking at how to use CryEngine 3 unique image-based lighting system with environment cube maps and uh, uh, deferred lighting as well. And, uh, you know, it doesn't stop there. I'm also going to, uh, to teach you how to use this, uh, how to not only use the stock content, but I am also going to describe in detail how to create custom content from decals to roads, you know, terrain, textures, particles, materials, and um, there's even a whole section on how to create a very simple game asset in 3D Studio Max from start to finish with LODs, proxy, custom textures, materials, and uh, get, it, get it all in game. And of course, as I go, I will also give you, you know, a bunch of tips and tricks regarding workflow, the editor and uh, other details that I learned throughout all these years that I've been using CryEngine. Basically stuff that will be just impossible to do on a written tutorial or, uh, or documentation. You'll see that uh, CryEngine 3, what you see is what you play functionalities is just a pure joy to work with. Everything is real time, uh, lighting, shadows, decals, etc. You will never need to bake light maps, calculate or render anything. What you see in the editor viewport is exactly what you'll see in pure game. I hope you enjoyed this training series and uh, without further ado, let's get started. So on this first uh, volume on the CryEngine series, we're going to be uh, looking at the most uh, bare and, and uh, simple uh, knowledge you can have with uh with this editor in here we're gonna you know we're gonna have like a, a a getting started video where we're gonna have a look at the folder structure of the build and the uh, config files etc then uh, we're gonna give a, a really quick overview of the uh of the ui of the user interface uh like all these uh, toolbars are modular you can move them around basically you can customize these however you want and, um, you know, if you're familiar with 3D Studio Max and, and Photoshop or, you know, pretty much any, any uh, common app, uh, you will feel right at home in here. Like, uh, all this editor feels very familiar and uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to get up, up and running really, really, really fast. So after that, I'm going to, um, you know, we're also going to cover uh, viewport navigation, how to move around and... Um, we're, we're also going to have a, a, a entities quick look, you know, the most uh, commonly used entities in the, in the, in the editor, something like, um, you know, door entities, the, the rope entity, particles, lights, prefabs, archetypes. We're going to cover all that really quick, just, just so you have you know, the notion on uh, how to work with this, with this editor, just so you see actually how simple everything is. And then af after that, we're going to have um, a video on uh, how to work with objects. 
basically on how to select stuff, how to rotate, how to move and scale, and uh, you know a few a few placement tricks as well to uh, to to speed up your process. After that, after we have you know the basic skills covered, we're gonna get started making this level. Like we're gonna start with just a very uh, a very basic island with um with nothing on it we're going to model the the terrain from scratch we're going to block out these uh this uh, gameplay area around here we're going to block out this coastal area and then we're going to have some sort of river section in here that is going to end up on um on this sort of big waterfall scene in here with a hut in here as well so um so that that way we're gonna you know we're gonna cover a few themes in the in there as well we're gonna cover how to model terrain how to place vegetation and uh, how to place brushes as well like how to uh, how to dress these uh, this you know this coastal line in here with these rocks and with these decals in here etc and uh, after we have a a decent block out in we're gonna be looking at um, you know a few uh, editor entities like uh, like fog volume, how to add um, you know uh, uh, fog in specific areas of the level, uh, how to add water volumes. Like um, this section in in, in here is is, uh, is being rendered with the ocean, but these sections in here is actually using a water volume to mimic this uh, this river effect in here. So basically, uh, this first volume, we're just gonna cover the basics, get you up, up and running with the basic knowledge, and then uh, we're gonna move on into the second volume.